Hey yo, what's up everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to the studio. It's your boy A Dub, Ace Dubs, Aaron Dubs, and today we're back at it with another video. Today we're doing a sneaker rotation, so we're just going over the sneakers that I wore for the past weekend. So on Sunday, I do with my Nike by Use Next Skin Custom IDs, and honestly, it's just a great shoe all around to wear. The colors of the color blocking of the shoe, as you know, the gray, the white, the black, it's just you can't go wrong with it. Just a classic color on a classic silhouette. It matches literally like everything in my closet, all the outfits. I can even throw it on with the stick if I really wanted to. All I did was I went out to eat, ran a couple errands in this shoe, you know, did a little something, something in this shoe. But yeah, I just want the custom IDs next skin by you for Sunday. Just a classic shoe, can't go wrong with the colors. Great colors, great summer shoe. All right, so on Monday, I went with another Air Force One. I went to John Elliott Air Force Ones. I can't remember exactly what I did on Monday, but I did wear this shoe. And these are, are different from the regular Air Force Ones that you know people usually are wearing. These are the John Elliott Co. ones. And you can find these on his website, johnelliottco.com, for about $150. But they do restock periodically, time to time. I think the last restock that I saw was back in January, and that's when I picked these shoes up. But honestly, it's a great Air Force One. You can't go wrong with it. They will run you about 150 off the hip. That's because you get premium elevated materials, you get a lunar line insole. You know, this is the better Air Force One all around. If you're looking for an Air Force One, but don't want the regular ones, you just want you know, some all whites. I do suggest you get these. They are really comfortable. I love wearing them, but I do suggest getting your actual size in these. I went half size down and like my foot is cramped. So next time they restock, I will be doubling up and getting my actual size, which is a size 11. So yeah, on Monday, I went to John Elliott Air Force Ones. Can't go wrong with them, pick them up if you can. All right, y'all. I already know I'm gonna get a lot of flack, but on Tuesday, I went with the Yeezy Foam Runner. Now, I love this shoe. Personally, I love this shoe already. I fell in love with this shoe as soon as I put it on my foot. It's a weird looking shoe. It looks like the spaceship from Lilo and Stitch, but it's I love this shoe. It's so comfortable. So, I did get them in on that Tuesday. I put the reveal for y'all for that on that Tuesday, you know. But yeah, I love this shoe. I did pick these up for $75 off Yeezy Supply about two weeks ago. And I do suggest you can get yourself a pair. If you can get your hands on a pair, then go ahead and do it. The Yeezy Foam Runner, we're just on Tuesday. All right, y'all. So on Wednesday, I want the Yeezy Wave Runner. Now, the Wave Runner is my favorite Yeezy of all time, of course, next to the next to the Wave Runners. That brand new pair. The Wave Runner 700, it's just a crazy shoe. And they go with literally everything. Now, retail does run about $300. And these are the 2018 September re-release, -re re-re-re-release. -re 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 they've come out a lot of times. But, you know, if you're not picking yourself up a pair, do yourself a favor and get yourself a pair of these. You need these in your collection. These are a staple. They're so comfortable. They look so great. They go with everything, literally everything. You know, Kanye killed it with these. You know, I'm, I'm biased towards Yeezy, so I love everything Yeezy pretty much. But yeah, an Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. I wore these to go out to eat, you know, run a couple errands, of course. That's literally all I do during quarantine is go out to eat and run some errands. But you can never go wrong with this shoe. It's really breathable, isn't it? It's kind of heavy, but not too heavy. You're always going to break some necks when you're wearing these. They look good on foot. So, the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. That's what I wore on Wednesday. All right, coming in on Thursday, I did wear the Air Max 1s. This is my only pair of Air Max 1s. The only pair I've probably ever owned in my whole entire life. That's because I'm not that big of a fan of the Air Max 1, but I fell in love with this colorway as soon as I saw it. These are the Air Max 1s Anniversary Red colorway. These came out for like Nike's 20th air max year or something it's something like that i'm not too sure of the history behind it but i just love this shoe it's super comfortable great right for the summer my only thing about this shoe is i did get them in the wrong size i got them half a size big because that's what i thought i thought they ran kind of small so i got them half a size big but they don't they run for the size so get your regular size you're looking for these they will run you about 140. i'm not sure if you can find these now but you probably find them under retail on like StockX or go or reddit or grail wherever you pick up your shoes from but the Nike Air Max 1 Red Anniversary, it's, a, it's just a great shoe. I suggest you pick yourself up a pair if you can. Moving on to Friday, we do have the Air Jordan 1 Fearless. I love this shoe. This shoe came out back in October for the Fearless pack, and it, it ran you about 170, I do believe, but it's a great shoe. The patent leather just looks so good, and everything on this shoe just looks great. Like, it's a great shoe all around with the, the UNC blue and the Chicago red. You can mix and match and wear them or whatever, honestly. But I wore these on Friday to an outdoor mall, so I did a lot of walking in them. The only thing about these, 
they're not that great for walking since they are patent leather they are more stiff than a regular Air Jordan 1 you know you don't want to crease them because creases and patent leather just look crazy and look you know disgusting so you don't want that so and they were rubbing against my back and my leg causing me to like oh yeah I need to get out of these like ASAP but it's still a great shoe all around. I don't know what resale is on these, but I don't believe it's too high where like, you know, you can't, you won't be able to get them affordably. But I do suggest you, just, you get yourself a pair of Air Jordan 1 Fearless. You know, you not, you can't go wrong with a red and blue shoe. It's a great combination, but they just, Jordan brand executed it so well on the shoe. So yeah, Air Jordan 1 Fearless for this on Friday. All right, on Saturday, I wore the Yeezy Foam Runner again. I know, I know, still a lot of flat. But I wore them to my bros going away party, you know, shout out to him. Shout out to you, Howard. You know, you did it, bro. Congratulations. But one to a going away party. And honestly, the most comfortable shoe I ever put on my foot. You know, I, I keep saying that. I'm not going to go into much detail because I already went over the shoe. But like I said, get yourself a pair if you can. I say five dollars retail off the hip. That's it's easy money. So this is the shoe to have for the summertime, in my opinion. Alright, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is like my 18th time recording this video because I keep going out of focus. But you know, I'm just gonna keep doing it over and over again until I get it right for you guys because I love y'all. I love the support that y'all giving me. But as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give me some feedback. Constructive criticism is always appreciated. And as always, stay busy, stay working. It's been your boy, A Dub, Ace Dubs, Aaron Dubs, whatever you wanna call me. And I'm out, y'all. Till next time.